welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. And today we've got a really exciting video. We've got Body Shape Masterclass 20, where we're dressing six women, six different body shapes, six different heights, and six different dress sizes. And I'm going to be dressing them all in exactly the same outfits. And then I'm going to be making certain tweaks depending on their body shape. As you'll see, this video was filmed in the Cotswolds. We had lots of fun. So we also recorded a behind the scenes for you. So that is going to be out next week. So that's the real video where you will actually see things that are going wrong, things that are going right, and it's just a really fun video. So tune in next week for that one. But in the video that follows, it was sponsored by Monica Vinader, which means that all of the items of jewelry that we were wearing for all of the ladies there were all by Monica Vinader. So under the description box where the title plays, I'm going to list all the pieces that we were wearing. I'm also going to do a little bit of a close-up on the ones that I am constantly wearing at the moment. So I'm sure you've probably already seen me wearing this pearl ring because I don't think I've taken it off, to be honest, since I've had it. But it is gorgeous. Personally, I think it's a really elegant ring and it goes lovely against the paper chain ring there. The paper chain ring is also really good for stacking. And then on my wrist, I'm wearing three of their bracelets. So we've got this one here, which is lovely. I really like the clasp on that one, actually, but also the texture on this, especially if you're wearing it against a band like that. So if you just had all bangles, for example, that are just flat with no texture in, then um, in my personal opinion, it doesn't look as good as when you change up the texture, change up the shape, keep that interest there. The pearl one is lovely. I've been wearing that all summer as well. It looks really nice when you've got a little bit of a tan. And then earring wise, I was wearing these little ones here. I'm never sure because I can't look at the camera at the same time when I'm showing you my ear. So let me take that out and show you. I don't know if it's picking up on the texture of that, but it's really beautiful. So I think I was wearing these ones throughout, but there are also some new ones that I've been wearing. I'll put a picture at the side of me now because I can't remember their, their name, but they're also a hoop, but they're just a really interesting shape of hoop. So I'm loving those as well. Now I often get asked over comments, why do I recommend Monica Vinadar? Because they're investment pieces, are they worth the money? And in short, I would say yes. And the reason for that is because it is made of 100% recycled gold vermeil, 100% sterling silver. In fact, there is a clip coming up in the video of Nikki, our brand director, who is wearing the silver jewelry. And um, that's lovely. And that's like I say, 100% sterling silver. So the quality is there, but also the customer service is there. If there are any issues, I know when I'm recommending it to my clients that those issues will get sorted very satisfactorily, very, very quickly as well. So from somebody who recommends something, that's really, really important to me. And I suppose the other reason is because they do so many options that for me allows me to look like I've got lots of jewelry when I, in fact, I haven't. I just mix and match them all the time. So for example, with this necklace here that I have got on, that's their snake necklace. But the fact that it's got a really nice round um, clasp on it there means, first of all, that I can hang a pendant on it. So you can buy these pendants separately. So I just built, bought one pearl pendant and I move it from my necklace onto my bracelet. So it, it changes it up. But also you could just wear that necklace like that just as a layering tool, so it just lies flat, so you don't have to have it coming down as a pendant. And if you look at a lot of their jewellery, there's always stacking options, layering options, and it all is really complementary to each other. 
So that's how I wear their jewellery and why I really like it and um, why all the girls have got it on throughout this video and the behind the scenes video as well where you see us all going out for the evening and things like that. So I think we're wearing it throughout. So yeah, we will link it. But let's move on to the main content and if you like it and you could press that subscribe or you could follow us on Instagram, all of those things really help our channel. So thank you in advance for that and I really hope you enjoy the video. And here are the ladies, my brave volunteers today, all six of them lined up, feeling a little bit cold. So we're gonna do this bit really quickly. So let's start at this end. So we've got Antonia. Antonia is our brand manager. Antonia, tell the audience, how tall are you and your dress size, if you don't mind? So I'm five foot one and my dress size is a UK 12. Great. Five foot five and a half and my dress size is six to eight. Five seven and uh, dress size twelve. Five foot six and UK size sixteen. Five foot five and I am a UK size eight. Five foot four and I am a UK fourteen and sixteen to eighteen. So if you've been following me for a while, you might recognise some of these faces because um, these girls are part of our team. So we've got brand manager over here. We've got Joe, my assistant. We've got makeup artist Hannah, Nikki, who is our project director. Stylist Sarah. New recruit is Jess, so welcome to the team. So Jess is our beautiful pear shaped model. So that means if you can just put your hands sort of by your side, Jess, that'd be great. So this is where Jess has um, all her curves in her hip area, but she's got this beautiful tiny waist, really well proportioned boobs, but it will all be about broadening her on the shoulders here to recreate that hourglass shape. So we'll be doing that today as well. And Sarah here is teeny tiny, but Sarah, for the audience, where do you feel most conscious? Um, my hips. My okay. hips, thighs and hips. All right, so if you put weight on, is that where it goes? Yeah, my tummy. Okay, so still a pear-shaped, like Jess, but still a very different figure. So um, whilst she's slightly wider, if you just move, yeah. move your hands, you're slightly wider there your stomach is still really slender as well but with Jess her, her tummy is really tiny and then she's got these curvaceous hips but it still means that both of you have to broaden your shoulders so it's often not about sizing it's about how to recreate the hourglass shape regardless of what size you are so Nikki here is broader on top so I was about to say where do you feel that you are the broadest but we can see your <laughs> lovely big boobs um, and they're a great asset because they just offer so much curve to her shape um, but I'd imagine sometimes you can make you feel a bit broader on top yes it yeah. can do yeah. yeah so it can do but really interestingly on Nikki is she's not broad on her shoulders so this is where her shoulder blade comes from and when we're looking at her from a styling point of view we look from head to toe we don't just come in here and think that's where she's broadest we look from head to toe and we look at the tips so I'm looking at the shoulder tip there and then I'm looking at her hips and actually, if you look at where her shoulders and her hips are, they're actually very much aligned. So really, it's this midsection here, and probably if you turn around for the audience, so the broadness is coming around the back area here, it's not on the shoulders. So we've got to make this area here look smaller just so that she looks more in proportion so again with Nikki we're going to be broadening here and we'll also probably add a little bit of width around the hips because that's going to make the stomach area look smaller as well and the lovely Hannah who has done everybody's makeup today <laughs> so that's why everybody's looking lovely oh. and glamorous and and you can book Hannah as well I'll give you a little plug whilst we're here <laughs> so Hannah talk to me about your figure and where you feel if you do put on weight you put it in the arm um I'm probably more conscious around my hip area right okay because you look lovely and balanced I'd say you're pretty much near on to an hourglass. It's about highlighting her beautiful flat waist in there as well. It's following that lovely bust line and all of those tricks are going to make her look more balanced overall. So Jo, incredibly slender frame here. And um, we have discussed this beforehand, um, but Jo is a survivor of breast cancer. 
um, we're all very proud of her. She's doing a wonderful job. I don't want to bring tears no, to you your eyes. Don't bring tears to your eyes. Beautiful new boobs here are giving her a lovely curvaceous look on top, and that is helping to balance out any potential hip area. But I think for Joe, it's about creating a few more curves because we've got this very straight up and straight down through the torso area. So just giving you a little bit of volume so that you you feel more curvaceous, mm -hmm. really. Next up, we have got Antonia. This is very unfair on me because Antonia, you are five foot one. One, and I'm actually really only like five foot three and a half, but I've got my massive heels on, and she's not allowed to have one no, right now. So um, she's not actually proportionally as small as she looks, but she's got a lovely figure for five foot one. It is more difficult mm. to dress when you are shorter. Um, somebody said in the comments box um, about me and Claire the other day that Claire is a UK 14, sometimes even a 16 in jeans. I'm an eight to 10, we look the same size, width wide. Mm. And that's because she's got the height and I'm shorter. But body shape wise, talk to me about how you feel. Um, so I put on weight everywhere I'd say, but the belly. Okay, yeah. And as I'm getting older, I feel my bottom's getting flatter. And then the arms are always, I always feel broad here. I don't know, yeah, they okay. become a little bit broader here. Yeah, so that's probably, again, it's not broad through the shoulders. If you turn around for the audience, if you don't mind. So the broadness is coming from the back panel there. It's not coming from the shoulder tip. So basically, like Nikki, you want this bit to look more in proportion. So we're going to increase your shoulders here. We're going to nip you in. You've got that lovely shape under your bust, so that bit there is lovely and slim. So if I broaden you here, I'm then going to make this area look smooth. Okay, so we've now been joined by Claire. Claire is our senior stylist. So the girls are now dressed in exactly the same jeans and exactly the same t-shirt. This hasn't quite gone to plan. <laughs> so we bought a base layer jean thinking that it was only going to suit some and not others. But actually, I think even better, we have found a jean that is suiting every single one of their body shapes. This jean is from Mint Velvet and um, we will link everything for you. The t-shirts we're definitely going to need to tweak on people. But let's just focus on the jeans for a minute. I think for Anna Antonia, we got you a short, yeah, but everybody else is just in a regular length on them. But if they're coming without shoes on, they're coming to kind of like near enough the perfect length on the bottom here. It, they're flattering everybody's figure. So even from Jess here with a lovely curvaceous hips through to Joe here who is more slender, they're actually fitting everybody really, really lovely. One thing I want to focus on though is the length. Right now, they're fine. Watch now when they put a trainer on, this is where we're going to have to start making some adjustments. Okay, so now have a look at them when you've put your trainers on. So a lot of people won't put their shoes on until the very last moment when they leave the house. And now the jeans aren't quite at the right level for most of them. I'm seeing Joes, they look about the right level without us actually doing anything to them. And it's funny because the wash on yours is slightly different yeah. as well. I think because they're a size six, I don't I don't know different, I don't know. Um, but Joes are the only ones that are looking right with the trainers. And that is because the trainer tongue here is coming quite far up your foot and when it does so on most people if we move to Hannah here you now can't see any of her ankle and we want to see that ankle because the ankle is usually the smallest part on your frame and when you show the ankle here it's going to make the leg um, look like it's slimmer throughout so these are all raw edges so all we would do ordinarily is cut probably about, well, what's that? Maybe about an inch off the bottom. Obviously, it's going to be different for everybody. Okay, so can you see there the difference now between Hannah's right foot and her left foot? So this is where we want the jeans to be. And it is literally just a matter of cutting an inch off the bottom. Okay, so now all we've done is added on exactly the same trench coat for all of the girls. And we're going to see how on some it fits absolutely fine, on others we need to change it. And so we'll explain the reasons why we need to change it. So for Jess, the colour is really lovely. 
But it's adding bulk everywhere. It's not draping nicely it's not on her. Not doing much. No, it's not yeah. doing much. It's fine. But it's to me, it feels a bit overwhelming, almost a little bit big. We could shape it more by pulling in the back back but I think we can do better on you Jess so let's change you up for a start okay so for Jess we have changed it up to this mango one as you can see because the tag is still um, hanging off that's a size large by the way and Jess is a UK 18 and this has got a much better drape to it it's so it doesn't yeah. feel as block like it's on her glowing it just feels more feminine and yes shape yeah um, it's also got the lapels here, so the lapels are helping to broaden that area up. Okay, so with Sarah, I think actually that's working really nicely. Yeah. Honor. Yeah, yeah, you've got the lapels there helping to balance out, but I think it's a good length on you. You can keep that. I think we can do a lot better on you, Nikki, because again, I think it's just adding bulk. I think fabric again. It's fabric, it's isn't it? Really help. It's double breasted, and a lot of people whose conscious area is around the stomach area think they can't wear double breasted. They can wear double breasted, but it's the fabric of that yeah. double breasted item that makes the difference as to whether you can wear it or, or you can't. And actually wearing it open. Like yes. if, even when you buy a blazer and you buy it double breasted, you just get a little bit more fabric, I think, for yes. your bust sometimes. So yeah, definitely. <laughs> so let's change the fabric on this one for, again, something a little bit more flowing. There we go. I think that is much better. Colour, beautiful on you. This isn't adding any extra bulk to her. It's just draping beautifully over her really nice now balanced figure. Hannah's rocking this. We don't need to do anything, Hannah. Even just the way you stand. Ah, no. <laughs> she used to be a model and you no, can, you can just stop. tell. But that looks lovely on you, Hannah. Really, really nice. Jo looks equally as good on you as well. But I'm afraid, Antonia, <laughs> come here, little lap. I'm very sad. <laughs> I know what it's like to be small, Antonia. So it's just drowning her. So the sleeves are too long, it's too long in the length, it's too heavy in the fabric. So let's get that changed straight away yes, for please. you. please. Now that's looking a lot better. And add the volume again. I feel like I'm just repeating myself because yeah. it's just come down to the fabric. Yeah. And if you feel broader in any particular area, you just want a, a more drapey fabric over you. It's as simple so, as that. Yeah. But this is a really good buy for if you're on a budget um, and you just want a really nice drapey trench coat. And, and also to know it's long on a petite frame, which I think a lot of people think yeah. it's going to overwhelm me, the length. But yes. it's more more here where it can overwhelm you, I think. Yes, yeah. And the um, other one just stuck out quite rigidly. Straight. And yeah, yeah, and added, even though it was long, it added too much bulk around that area yeah. where this is draping long, but yeah. really nice. Have a look at the final lineup. Now, what we've also done in the background here is just change Sarah's up. Hers didn't need to be changed up. We just thought we would show you a different variety. Lovely ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so next we have found you a blazer that is working on every single one of them. The blazer is from Reese and it is an investment blazer. However, if you think about how versatile a blazer is and actually how long you can have it in your wardrobe for, so a couple of these blazers are actually my blazers and I think I've had them in three or four years and Reese in particular do this style every single year and there's a reason they do that and that reason is because it fits every single one of the shapes. Obviously we're showing the different colours here as well and Jess here obviously got the navy one on but it's doing a brilliant job there of broadening her and look at that lovely shape and what I would say there is can you see Jess's larger thighs compared to her shoulders in that blazer? Then I'd challenge you and say, I definitely can't. I think she looks absolutely beautiful. Sarah here has got the linen version, so that's going to give a softer drape to it. We've gone with a camel for um, Anna. Um, Nikki looks absolutely lovely. And teaming it here with the silver just adds that pop of colour and something a little bit more interesting and follows with Nikki's personality. And look at it here. Even on Antonia, who is petite, this isn't from the petite section. So this is 
broadening her hair, it's given her this beautiful waistline there and it's kicking out, but it isn't shortening her legs in any way. I suppose that is helped by the fact that you've got those great shoes on, yes. which are elongating your frame as well. And Jo is doing the more sporty look, more relaxed, so generally speaking, all very nice. So we will link that blazer for you. Okay, so next up we have got a jumpsuit that is fitting all six of them. And it is from Amber. Claire, <laughs> talk us through why it's fitting everyone. I think because it's just got a lot of the things we look for. It's yeah. broadening her top part here, it's splitting through here, which is always feminine um, on this area and quite flattering. Mm -hmm. It's nipping her in at the smallest part, yeah. highlighting that with the belt. And then the trousers are just this kind of gentle flare that kind of helps a kind slim of fitting flare. Yeah. And when you've got the flare at the bottom, it helps to balance out any hips. Yeah. So it equally works on somebody like Hannah, who's fairly well balanced, as it does, perhaps Jess, if we can have you up here. So look at those curves. <laughs> so this is what we want to do. We want to embrace those curves and show them off. If I was to put a big baggy jumpsuit on Jess now, she'd look bigger all over. So she looks beautiful and it's doing exactly the same job on her as it is on every single one of them. One thing that we did to change Antonia is we put you in a push-up bra, didn't we? Yes. And so the reason for that is, with a more relaxed bra on, there wasn't much space between Antonia's waistline and her bust. So by putting on a padded bra and an uplifting bra, I've now got sort of three finger space in there and that helps to create the waistline if you don't have much of a natural waistline. And another thing that I've done is I haven't fed the band through the loophole on this side. So that's allowed me to slightly lower the positioning of the band on Antonia to create the illusion of more of a gap between her bust and her waist. Let's have a look though because we get it that this type of jump jumpsuit may not suit everybody it's quite glamorous they look i think it just doesn't fall within everyone's comfort zone no. even when the girls before they put them on today were like oh it's very fitted yes um but actually yeah. everyone looks great but then we just like to show you i guess an uh, show you an alternative so we've got a completely different one for everybody uh, just a quick note before we move on though have a look how some of them have got a heel on and some of them have got trainers on so just to show you that that type of jumpsuit you can dress up or you can dress okay so Claire come out of shot for a minute actually I think it's probably because it's not going to add because I'm about to move as well um, okay so now we have dressed them in a jumpsuit that matched their lifestyle demands so the other jumpsuit was great but as Claire mentioned it wasn't for everybody's taste so here these are the genuine sort of jumpsuits that they would wear for their lifestyles so if I move out of the camera way there just make sure that we've got everybody in have we got Jess in yeah can you move more centrally Jess is there. There we go, so if we'll have a little bit of a look here. So we've got Jess in her animal print. So come forward, Jess. Talk us through this, why you chose this. Um, I chose this one because I really enjoy the print. Uh, I work in marketing, so it's always a bit of a journey. If anyone works marketing, I'm sure you understand. It's a bit wild. So I thought <laughs> this kind of fun. Really fun, and I'm loving that you chose one that broadens you here with the little tucks nips you in and then this there are wider leg trouser here it's just skimming over the widest point so it doesn't draw attention to that area and the pattern is just really young and fun on you fun. yeah really <laughs> lovely okay sarah <laughs> I, that was. I thought you were going to stop filming i did i know Sorry. not stopping yeah. filming <laughs> I saw, I saw. Um, so sarah what made you choose um, this one just it's so easy just to chuck on yeah. Um, without really thinking too much about the, the outfit. Easy for the school run. Um, yeah. yeah. One piece. Just, yeah. And a lot of, we, well, you see all the comments as well, don't you? What do the comments always say? Oh, how do you go to the toilet? Um, perhaps oh. you better not say that. <laughs> <laughs> say it like that. Let me just offend everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Offended all of our audience. 
Okay. Let's see. I'll start okay. that again. Oh, okay. Uh, so what is the answer? Um, Stop me. So just how do you go to the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so yes, it's just a really easy piece to wear a jumpsuit, but we do get a, a lot of women saying the same thing, and that is, how do I go to the toilet in a yeah. jumpsuit? And what do you do? You just got to get half naked. Yeah, you just take, take it down, off, sit there in your bra, yeah, enjoy, enjoy the moment, <laughs> and put your jumpsuit back on. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, Okay, do you want to come in now? Because now we're, we're doing it like this, we're committed to doing it this way. So, Nikki here. Okay. So, Nikki, talk us through this one. How does this fit into your lifestyle? Easy to wear. It's lightweight. Um, I can dress it up, dress it down. Yeah. Work from home, do the school run, um, meet friends, whatever. It's just, yeah. Just super, it's really comfortable as well. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And it looks yeah. absolutely yeah. fab on you. Nothing I'm loving the denim. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, really soft. Really yeah. Sorry, what was that? A drapey, drapey denim. denim. Yeah. Yes. Really yeah. Nice. And again, that's um, that's followed through on everything that we've put on you, Nikki, is going more for a drapier fabric rather than a thicker, heavier fabric. Yeah. Because we want to see the bust line. We want to see the gap there underneath where a lot of ladies who are broader on the top area here think they've got to cover it up. Yeah. And it doesn't work, does it? No. Following the figure looks a lot better. I think and you look great in that. Too, that kind of set in sleeve I think is quite important. Yes, very important. And the v-neck obviously is incredibly important as well. The, and then the placket. So you get like a double whammy. Yes, you do. Yes, yeah. that's a really good point because that is your separation point. We're just having these um, buttons down there, really nice. Lovely, we think you should keep that one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, Hannah, come on up. Hannah in an Amazon special. <laughs> uh, I wore this one in a video, a couple of videos ago, in the lighter creamy yes, colour. Yeah. And that was really nice, but I love it in the green. Yeah, I love great. it. Really so nice. Yeah. Where, uh, well, I can see you doing your makeup. I know. I don't even need to ask yeah. you why you picked that one. Exactly. It ticks yeah. all the boxes for me. It's smart, casual. When I do turn up to jobs, I do want to look smart, but yeah. relaxed and comfortable. And yes. this, this does it. That does it. Yeah, looks great. Thank great. Joanna. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, Joanna, why did you well, pick this it's one? it's really, like you said, drapey. Yeah. It's really it's a soft. Nice denim. And in mm -hmm. the studio, if you do, I can stick across legs. You know, it's not all yeah. tight and bulky. Yeah. So, really comfy. And, and, and what about the real reason you said to me? She said, because some days you just whip out the camera and you don't give me enough notice. <laughs> and so at least in this, I know I'll always look half decent. <laughs> I don't often look half decent, but in this I will. Yeah, it looks lovely. And it, and it creates shape yeah. on Jo. So I think um, knowing you as well as I do, sometimes you feel that little sort of straight up and straight down, don't you? So to give you that little bit of extra shape without adding the volume is um, really, really lovely on Jo's figure. Antonia, hello. This is just looking amazing, amazing. on oh, you. <laughs> really, really nice. Is this an Oliver Bow oh, standing? I know. <laughs> so that even even that yeah. we can tell with a client, can't we? You can how gauge they... it completely. Yeah, you're thinking, okay. <laughs> yes. So if there's any work. budding, how do I become a personal stylist out there? You can see it in how your client poses and um, positions themselves. So. Yeah, I think you look fab in that. So it's, this is actually whistles. Just oh, yeah, is it? Sorry, whistles. whistles. Yeah. Okay. Um, as are a few of the jumpsuits, actually, I think Joe's is whistles as well. Right. Really, really good denim jumpsuit. Yeah, we will link everything there. for for you though. But um, so we have turned the legs of this just under slightly, but not much. We have added a shoulder pad, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. Um, and what I've done here is just lowered the belt down slightly for the same reasons as I spoke about with the last jumpsuit to create that gap between bust and stomach. And that's how you create an elongation in the waist when you haven't necessarily got much of a defined waist. But look at that, she looks like she's got a gorgeous, gorgeous silhouette there. Really lovely. Thank you. I'll just say, um, head's cut off, so either come in or come, in or come out. <laughs> okay, so next up, I think we're going to do relaxation wear. So mm -hmm. off to get changed, girls. <laughs> <laughs> Down. 
So next we've got relaxed loungewear and they look lovely because they're all really nice and coordinated together but as you can see they've all produced the same look but they've done so in slightly different styles based on their figures. So for Antonia here we've broadened her here and we've colour blocked her so it just elongates her frame. For Jo we've just created a bit of volume just up there on the shoulders but she's got these beautiful slim legs so we're showing them off. These two sets are from Varley but here we've got a lovely set from H&M which is literally just a coordinated tracksuit that comes in lots of different colours as well. Nikki here is wearing the Varley jumpsuit. It's an investment piece but is it worth the investment, Nikki? Very comfortable. It is really, really nice. I wear that all the time in the cream and I've also got it in the brown. So Sarah here is also wearing Varley and it's actually between, if Sarah and um, Jo want to step forward. Okay, so they've got the same trousers on. Actually, no, I think you've got the H&M version on yeah. and you've got the Varley it's version fine, on. Yeah. But the jumpers are both Varley, you've got the same fabric there, um, but as you can see it's the slightly different design. For Sarah here we just wanted to create that extra little length over the area that she feels slightly conscious of and that looks really beautiful. And Jess here just looks like that cool super <laughs> mum on the on the school run, the yummy mummy. So we've gone for the Amin Bean cap, we've gone for an Amazon cardigan. That just helps to skim over that thigh area because she's got a tight legging on underneath. Most of us, myself included, aren't that comfortable in exposing um, all of us, everything, <laughs> in a tight legging. So we're just using the longer layer there. Keeping it simple with the white t-shirt in between and then she's got a really nice coordinated trainer on. So I think it's as simple as that with loungewear. So a different type of relaxation wear now. So still really easy to wear. And as you can see, we've got them all in a striped top and trousers. What is the biggest thing we hear about a striped top? Can you wear it? Yeah, can I wear a striped top? Is it gonna make me look broader on top? I've always avoided it. Yes. Especially with a bigger bust. Exactly. But look what we've done with the larger chested lady, Nikki. All we've done here is made sure, first of all, that we can see her bust because she's got a beautifully shaped bust and she goes in gorgeously underneath it. So we've gone for a tighter version on her. What we could do here, we could open that up even more like that and that would be equally as flattering on you but I think the dark placket here really helps to create that sort of deep V anyway and means that such a neckline can be worn by her but often if it doesn't have the dark placket down you might be better going for a proper V rather than what do we call this I used to call it a granddad collar it's it's a, a Henley, Henley tea, there we go a Henley tee um, um, and while you're standing here should we just do your trousers mm -hmm. really well because Everyone is loving their trousers. Yes. Um, so there's a couple of the girls here that got trousers on from me and M, and the quality is just lovely. Yeah, really, really soft, nice and thick, hang yeah. really well. Hang yeah. really beautiful. well, yeah. Yeah. really yeah. beautiful. Yeah, nice and I think, um, just saying there, the, the thick fabric, it's thick but it's drapey, yes. isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And, and it doesn't show any lumps yeah. and bumps up. You know some trousers, you can see your knicker line and you can see your cellulite and things like that. Yeah. All of them, Very if you set yeah. back actually, Nikki, so I can just pan out to the rest of the group. So Antonia has got the same trousers on but in the petite version, although they were more expensive and there's less of them. Fabric, yeah. I don't know why that is. And then Hannah here has got the same trousers but in the crop, ankle cropped. Yeah. So it gives quite a bit of a different look there, but essentially you've got the same tops on. Joe's trousers didn't turn up on time. But actually I think it's worked out well because we've created the similar look by just layering up a jumpsuit with the stripe and I think it looks really nice really on you. Nice. Yeah. So what have we done over here, Claire, with these two? So Sarah also has a pair of lovely me and M trousers on. These ones are their lighter fabric though, and they're more kind of like a, they've got this long waistband that you can turn down. So quite nice here actually, quite kind of mm -hmm. yeah. flattering. Feel nice through here. And that can and be very flattening on anybody that's carrying a little bit of weight round there. Yeah. Um, and 
we've done this a lot of times you know when you're a little bit lumpy around the side here and um, we pull it up completely under the bust it doesn't <laughs> hold you in but it smooths that area down so it often gives clients a comfort factor um, but equally then you can fold it over and what that does as well it allows you to position the trouser at different heights so um, what you need to be careful of though is when you do pull the trouser up and fold it over like that, <laughs> if you pull it up too much, you can end up with a camel toe and nobody wants that. For Jess, we've picked this um, striped top, which is actually a knit, but again, it's draping really nice. It's got the lovely V. The stripe is a little bit bolder, which works quite well, I think, yeah. for Jess, because it's a little bit more broadening, more broadening. here. It's drop shoulder as well. Um, and the trousers, we've gone for this lovely, um, again, a nice thick jersey fabric from M&S, kind of um, a straight wide leg cut. And they've got this kind of cargo pocket, which actually is something that a pear shape might avoid. But actually yeah. your widest part is here, not here. So yes. it kind of helps just balance. Really. Yes. And it particularly um, helps. It's not the case with Jess, but we see a lot of clients who are quite shelf-like in this area. And what I mean by that is it goes out quite yeah. significantly and then the rest of their leg is rather slender. So um, it's almost like a saddle bag area. Yeah. And that is also where the cargo pocket down there is really good because it helps to smooth that whole area out. And because it's down there and not there. So yes. It's all in the placement. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I have to say, um, you know, we've got we've shown you a couple of trousers here from Me and M, but we are very aware that Me and M price point is out of reach for a lot of you. Where these trousers are from Marks and Spencers and they feel just as nice. nice. So that looks lovely, ladies. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I think we're saving the best to last. This is the evening wear section. And to show you that six women six different body shapes, different heights, different dress sizes can all look equally as beautiful in a completely different set of dresses. So this one, I mean, it just gives curves in all the right places. You've got the kind of lovely flattering v-neck here, the puff sleeve that we talked about before. The ruffles over the stomach. The ruching. Ruching, yeah, is that, that's yeah. the word, ruching so flattering. A lot of ladies say, well, it looks nice from the front, but what about the side? So have a look there and see if you can see any sort of extra weight around that area, because I tell you what, you can't. It really does hide everything. This is great when you're petite, just having that little split as well, yeah. to show a bit more leg, because actually that leg looks great on you. Yeah. It's really chic. So next up, we've got Jo. Jo's dress is from... Me and M. Yeah. I don't know that the camera is picking up on this, but the detail on the lace here is beautiful. The tucks there, again. It just looks really classy and expensive. It does, like a it premium, yeah. Yeah, like a premium product. For and a short dress, which is quite hard, actually. I think if you wear a short dress sometimes, it doesn't quite yeah. look as... As, as, classy. as classy. And this beautiful shoe as well. Just really yes. Elegant, understated, timeless, sexy, everything, all in one. All of the girls are wearing it in either black or nude. Again, it's a really good price. We will link them. And it's a very similar to shoe that I always wear in every video. Yeah. And then we always get asked, where, do, where was it from? <laughs> and they were from Zara about five years ago. And this is the first time these shoes have come on the high street market and we can replicate it for you. So do not hesitate if you think it's a shoe you want to buy because they will sell out very, very quickly. So, Hannah, you look like you're about to go to a wedding or something. I feel glamorous oh, in this. Yeah. It is amazing. It does make you feel amazing. So, yeah, yes. it's lovely. Thank and you. The neckline as well just shows off your beautiful shoulders. Oh, beautiful. And the, the fact that it's not just coming in there, it's coming in lower here. That is incredibly flattering on most people. The beauty of this is that's actually a second piece. So, even though a lot of us, certainly, my, I'm going to say myself, my shape of my boobs is not like it used to be so when you have got the second layer over there it doesn't matter that you've got spaniel ears underneath it I mean as you say with this extra layer I do feel quite confident I feel comfortable I wouldn't yeah. wear it with the single layer yes this works yeah it definitely works and, and you look absolutely beautiful well. just because it's kind of it's like when you tuck in and you kind of yeah, create that create that even more yeah good. it's beautiful um, and again yeah. it's a really good price they do it in black 
and several other colours yeah. as well actually. We'll link it all for you. Thank you, Hannah. Wow. Okay, we love this on Nikki. She has had to use some boob tape underneath because it's a little bit tight <laughs> on, on the boob area. <laughs> Rather than go bra lush, we used the nude, I think, was it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's more of a kind of a patch rather than a, a tape, so it kind of be yeah. easier to apply and you feel a little bit more secure. More yeah. secure, yeah. 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 And it allows you to make the most of your chest because if you really need to hoik them up, you can, but if you just need a little bit of shaping, it does that as well so they're a really good product this dress is beautiful it's me and M. it is an investment piece yeah. it is expensive to this several times but a drop waist works even on somebody whose conscious area is around her stomach area it's a really flattering way to cover that area and create a lean on geisha wearing the silver jewelry is beautiful the earrings are also from monica vinida and a lot of people at the moment are mixing the silver with the gold and that's okay it's actually really on trend to do that and i think it just looks beautiful and it shows you we've got very similar colorings mm. but the silver or the gold work equally as well on both sarah we've got exactly the same dress on as antonia and and Obviously, she looks amazing yeah. in it. Really simple and easy to wear, yeah. you said. Mm -hmm. Feels really comfortable. Really comfy. Yeah, really comfy. It suits everybody. We also had this for Jess as well. And with Jess's beautiful curves, oh my goodness, it just looked it's amazing. Classic as well, isn't it? Classic. It won't go out of fashion. Yeah. yeah, it won't go out of fashion. Really, really good point. The detailing here is just going to shape anybody. So, beautiful. Jess! <laughs> You just look like a Spanish senorita <laughs> or something. So this is what we mean about recreating this hourglass shape. So we have broadened her completely on the top. And then the dress here nips her in at the waist and just falls beautifully over her thighs. It doesn't cling anywhere. So it just skims over it and it's just stunning. So the thing about this dress, I think, is that you dress it up with a really nice clutch bag now and the heels like she's got on it, got on and it looks lovely, but add a basket bag in the summer with a slider and you get away that every big day. Hat. Big hat. Oh, big hat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would look lovely. <laughs> so a really wearable dress here for both evening and for the summer daytime. Lovely. So thank you girls for being our brave models today. We really hope that that shows you that regardless of your body shape, your size, your height, you can look beautiful in very similar styles to what everybody else is wearing when you really do recreate the hourglass shape and dress for your height, your lifestyle and your body shape. Thank you for watching. We'd really appreciate it if you press that subscribe or the thumbs up button. That actually greatly helps our business. And if anybody's interested in either doing one of our courses or um, booking either myself, Claire, or any of the other stylists for a styling session, then please head to our website and you'll see all the details. But from us, from all of us, mm -hmm. thank you very much and thanks for watching. Bye bye.